Do you want to have brunch in the Mediterranean? I have you covered. kitchen again corporate chef of bc egg today we're gonna make a mediterranean style creamy baked eggs it is the ultimate delicious brunch item you're ever going to present to your guests or your family it's incredible let me show you how easy this is okay make sure your oven is preheated at 350 degrees so we're starting off with some sun-dried tomatoes now i always tell people go oil pack sun-dried tomatoes because the dried ones you have to rehydrate them and a lot of people hydrate them with boiling water and water has no flavor. So you're just blanding them out. And if you ever notice the residual liquid is red because it's taking some of the flavor from the tomatoes and you're throwing it down the drain. I don't like to do that. I like to do oil packed. So this is gonna be twofold. Not only are these already hydrated and they're luscious and they're beautiful and delicious, we also get to use the reserved oil. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I have a quarter cup of oil packed sun-dried tomatoes that I've been draining here. And I'm just gonna take them out of the little strainer now. And we're going to use that oil in the recipe. So we have four one cup ramekins and I put them in a cake pan, about the same height as the ramekins. Because what we're gonna do is create a bain marie. What that is, is you pour boiling water in and around the ramekins and it just helps everything to cook more evenly and have the egg set a little more beautifully. We're gonna start off in these ramekins with getting one half a teaspoon in each of these ramekins of that reserved sun-dried tomato oil. And you can just look at this oil and you just see how much flavor it's gonna have already. And that's just gonna to add to the flavor of this Mediterranean brunch recipe. All right, then you just take a pastry brush or your finger or whatever, and just coat the inside of the ramekin with that sun-dried tomato oil, all right? Then we're gonna use the remaining oil from those sun-dried tomatoes to cook our spinach. So get a big nonstick pan, medium high heat, let it heat up for a little bit. We're using 100 grams of fresh baby spinach leaves. And if you haven't got a scale, you can go two cups packed. So really take the spinach leaves and pack them into a two cup measure and you'll have about the same amount. So we're gonna take that residual oil and put it in our pan and then take our spinach and put it in there. Now, this doesn't take long. You just wanna cook it, wilt it a little bit. It's only gonna take about a minute on medium high heat. So make sure you're stirring it constantly. Once it's wilted down like that and really shrunken in size, kill the heat, and we're gonna go back over the countertop. All right, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna divide this spinach equally into those ramekins. I just sort of place it in there first, get an eyeball as to how much is in there, and then I'll spread it out here in a minute. You can see it really reduces the size of the volume of that spinach. Okay, so now I just take it and move it around a little bit so it's on the bottom of the ramekin. And this is gonna add some great flavor and some great color to the dish. Now on top of the spinach, you wanna get a tablespoon of grated Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese on top of each one. I go with the true Parmigiano-Reggiano and I grate it myself from a block. Don't buy pre-grated, okay? So finely grated and just gently distribute it evenly over the top of the spinach of each one. One tablespoon. On top of the Parmigiano Reggiano, we're gonna do a tablespoon of pesto. So you can buy this from the store already made. If you make your own pesto, you can use that as well, whichever you choose. So one tablespoon on each. And I'm just, again, just going to distribute it evenly as I can. It doesn't have to be spread out. Just try and get it all over the place instead of just in the center. Just help it with my finger there. If you wanna use a spatula, you can, it doesn't really matter. All right. Now comes our sun-dried tomatoes that we reserved. So we're just gonna, again, distribute these equally in the ramekins. Works out to about a tablespoon of sun-dried tomatoes in each portion. On top of that, we're gonna do two tablespoons of full-fat whipping cream. If you wanna cut it back and do an 18% coffee cream, you can do that, but it's only two tablespoons and it really adds to the richness of these Mediterranean creamy baked eggs.
Now it's the time for our BC eggs. So we're gonna use four BC eggs. Make sure you have BC eggs in your diet because every single large BC egg has 14 key nutrients, all nine essential amino acids, six grams of the highest quality protein you can get, and one egg, it's only 80 calories. What I like to do is crack them in individual portion cups. So if I'm frying an egg, I'm poaching egg, any time where I wanna keep the egg whole with having less risk of breaking the yolk, I do that. So if I break a yolk doing this, it's not ruining the dish. And we can easily just save that for a scrambled egg application or an omelet and then crack a different one. But you wanna make sure you keep these whole. All right, with our whole cracked eggs, we're gonna put one on each of the ramekins. So the next step, your remaining Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, I want you to take that and just top the eggs with it. Now try and keep some of the yolk peeking out so you can see it. Little dusting of salt on the top. Fresh cracked pepper. Now we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of sumac. What's that? Well, that's basically a ground berry and it's known for its citrusy tartness and it's more prevalent in the Middle Eastern countries, but a lot of Mediterranean countries use this as well. So just a little sprinkle on that. It's really deep wine colored. It adds a great presentation and a unique flavor to this dish. Completely optional if you can't find it, but it is available in a lot of major grocery stores now. Now, before you pour the boiling water into here, get this as close to your oven as possible so you're not carrying it around the kitchen. And we're just gonna take it like so. Be careful not to pour into the ramekins. And we're going to pour into the cake pan until it reaches at least halfway up the sides of the ramekins. Now, with these being close to my preheated oven, it's very easy to take it and pop it right in and less risk of you spilling this on yourself. Here we go. We'll set a timer for about 15 or 20 minutes. What you're looking for are the egg whites to be cooked, but the yolk's still running. There goes my timer. Let's get these out of here. And again, be really careful because that water is hot. All right, just gonna place these down. Now I'll show you how I like to plate this. And again, be very, very careful. So I'm gonna take each one out. And what I do, a little pro tip for you, before plating it, make sure you just blot it on some towel so it's not transferring the water to the plate. Then I put on a little plate. This is optional, but this is how I like to do it. Two or three toast fingers. So people can dive in, dip it in there, get the yolk, or just serve it with a spoon, whichever you prefer, but watch this. You see the yolk there and you can touch it. See how it's still soft? This is how you're gonna tell when it's ready. And you just take it and you dive it in there and you get some of that ooey gooey goodness on your bread and you pop in your mouth. Man, that is so good. I could eat that all day long. You're gonna love this dish. Make sure you check out bcegg.com for a whole bunch of other great recipes, tips and tricks. And this is Chef Diaz signing out. Where are you getting your protein from?